I have a daughter who is turning 13 on Sunday, and it's something that I struggle with with her. You know, like my parents, I want to make sure that I'm having the same conversations I'm having with her that I'm having with my son. There really shouldn't be any difference. I want to make sure she's looking at different, you know, math classes or different things that she can do and really encouraging her to see the different opportunities. I don't know that I'm successful yet, <laughs> but I'm not going to give up, and I'm going to keep trying to make her be interested in it and her friends. Right? I might not be the cool mom because I'm asking them if they like technology, or, but at least I'm bringing up the conversation with them, and hopefully that plants a little bit of, of a seed in their minds so that they think about it as well. I've been a member of Society of Women Engineers since I was in college, so uh, there's a lot of things that um, I've participated in, or as uh, with young girls, you kind of have to make it interesting. As youngsters, they're um, learning things, especially now you have STEM schools, you have a lot of different STEM clubs, but then they get to a certain point like in college and they start feeling like they're, um, they're not gonna be included in things because it's still, there's a lot of um, men who get positions um, if we keep showing them that there's p people out in those positions, then I think it helps us um, keep girls interested, not just when they're really young, but as they start moving into their careers too. One of the things when I look back, even when I was a, a young girl, I, I always loved to read. Um, not a lot of my girlfriends did that. They maybe they liked to draw or you know that sort of thing. But I loved to read. I loved science fiction and fantasy. But those were always viewed as boy things. And if I went to the library, which no one does anymore, and checked out a book, which no one does anymore, but if I did that and it was a science fiction book, I got teased a lot. You know, no one you know no one understood why a girl would want to check out a book about outer space or, you know, not a research book, but a science fiction book, you know. So I think we should be encouraging our, our girls to feel comfortable and feel good about enjoying, you know, the things that, that they like to do or, or explore, whether that is music or, or literature or, you know, whatever it is and whatever genres that they like and, and introducing that into their day-to-day -day world as much as the actual technology that, that they work with, because they often go hand in hand together. I think, you know, sometimes there is this, uh, you know, fear of hates technology and I need to be, you know, super smart in math and science. And yes, girls absolutely can be. And I think it's really important to give girls, young women, the opportunity to actually have internships, you know, for example, with a company like ours, where they can see firsthand that technology is not this box that we put you in and you need to function in this and you kind of get to define what you do. And there are so many different aspects of, of technology that, uh, you know, people with different backgrounds can be very, very useful in. Um, and, you know, as long as we pair, you know, those opportunities for young girls also with uh, probably a mentorship, you know, program, um, I think they would see the value in it. Um, and, I, and I have seen more, obviously more and more, you know, young women, you know, girls being interested in technology and kind of um, not really thinking about the barriers that existed, you know, for, for their mothers or, or their grandmothers before, even though they might have had an interest early, you know, early in life to pursue a field. So um, I think I just go about, you know, how technology has changed our personal lives. And that's, I think, his, um, hopefully he's, he's bringing further down the barrier of entry for, for young girls and women into the field. Um, I, I think that really it's about catering to each individual child's desires. So when it comes to girls, you have some girls that are into dolls, others that are into skateboards or bikes or whatever. And I think it's all the little things. So helping them build a dollhouse if that's what they're into or helping them build a skateboard ramp if that's what they're into. But it's, it's taking technology or mechanics or whatever the thing may be and tailoring it to each individual child's 
um, interest. Whether it's girl, boy, it doesn't even matter. Just making sure that they can find joy and love in those things.